MRCEM OSCE course. Preparatory for the Royal College of Emergency Medicine. UK OSCE exam. Website www.mrcemoscecourse.com. Facebook page MRCEM OSCE course. Hello. Uh, my name is Dr. Hassan Abdurrahman, one of the MRCEM OSCE course instructor. Today I'm going to talk about uh, history station. Particularly, I'm going to talk about uh, palpitation. So it is written outside in your task that the patient came to the emergency department with complaint of palpitation. Please take history from the patient and give a management plan. So you have to take a look for the pie chart and you have to see the breakdown of the marks. As we mentioned before, in any history station, before going inside, you have to have a differential diagnosis before going inside. Then when, when you are coming inside, you'll find the examiner and you'll find your patient is sitting there. So greet the examiner and approach to your patient. Introduce yourself and your position in the emergency department. Confirm patient identity. Ask about the name of the patient and the age. Reestablish chief complaint that the patient is coming to the emergency department with heart racing. The patient will say, yes, I have heart racing. That's why I came to the emergency department. Here, you have to state to the examiner that you need to check the vitals of the patient. Mostly, they are saying that patient is vitally stable. Proceed for the history taking station. Now, here, we have to ask about the consent, which is verbal consent. That your aim to take history from the patient regarding the presentation, which is heart racing. The patient will give you the agreement then ask for chaperone and check level of comfort of the patient. If the patient is comfortable or if the patient is having any pain. And for, for the pain, if the patient is in pain, you will provide the patient with analgesics. Here, our task now started. Firstly, we have to address the issue of palpitation itself. So we have to ask about the onset of the palpitation, the duration for how long the palpitation or the patient is having this palpitation or heart racing. Ask about the progression, aggravating factors and relieving factors. Now we are going to ask about the differential diagnosis, which we, we put it initially before coming inside the station. In the top of the list, we have acute coronary syndrome. So we have to ask in such way to address if the patient is having any issue related to acute coronary syndrome we have to ask about the chest pain if the patient is having chest pain if yes here we have to ask where is the pain and is there any radiation for the pain for example to the right shoulder to the left shoulder to the back to the arm or to the uh, wrist ask about sweating next we should address pulmonary embolism uh, ask about chest pain. So we, are, we already asked about the chest pain. So ask the patient, is there any history of recent travel? Or if the patient is female, we have to ask about the oral contraceptive pills use. And ask about the pleurisy, pleurisy of the pain, if the patient is having pain. Next component, we have to address the thyroid state. Particularly, I'm, I'm going to talk about hyperthyroidism. If the patient is having any weight loss or any heat intolerance or any fine tremor or any irregularity in the menstrual cycle. Next, we have to talk about anemia. If the patient is having any upper or lower GI bleed or if the patient is female, ask about the heavy menstrual cycle. Also, you should address signs and symptoms related to anemia. If the patient is having easy fatigability or chest discomfort or shortness of breath as well. Pregnancy status for the, for the female patient. Ask the patient regarding her pregnancy status or if the patient did any Check up outside regarding the pregnancy status. If the patient is in the uh, childbearing age, 
Like this, we should came to the conclusion. As I mentioned before, our target here in history station that we should come up at the end of the station with one differential or one diagnosis, one final diagnosis, or at least two differential diagnoses. So from this part, we already had a conclusion now regarding the heart racing. So then we should ask about the past medical history. If the patient is hypertensive or a patient is diabetic or patient is taking any medication for that, ask about past surgical history. Ask about social history as well. Ask about uh, smoking. And if the patient is smoking, how many cigarettes per day? Ask about alcohol intake and how frequency the patient is taking alcohol. And ask about illicit drug cocaine particularly, and other illicit drug. And as I mentioned before, this question is sensitive here, so it should be proceed by apology. Then we should address the, ask about allergy as well, if the patient is having allergy to any medication or to any food. Then we should address the idea and the concern and the expectation of the patient. We should appreciate that. Then here we have to give information to the patient about the diagnosis or about two differential diagnoses that we came up with that the patient might have this problem or that problem. So for this purpose, we will conduct this investigation to come to the final diagnosis. And prior to this, you, have, you, should, you, should, you should state that you will examine the patient completely then the management plan will be according to the diagnosis or to the two differential diagnosis that you reach it. Ask, give the opportunity for the patient to ask any question and ask and answer the question of the patient appropriately. So like this, we conclude all the differential diagnosis of the heart racing. So again, let's recap. You come inside, you introduce yourself and position in the emergency department. You confirm the patient identity and you establish chief complaint. And you ask the examiner about the vital vitals of the patient. You take consent from the patient. You ask for chaperone and uh, you check the level of comfort and analgesia if, need, if needed to be prescribed for the patient. Then you already start about your, your, your task is already started, so you have to address the heart racing itself, the onset, the duration, progression, aggravating factors, and relieving factors. And uh, then you have to ask about your differential diagnosis for heart racing, which is acute coronary syndrome. You have to ask about sign and symptoms related to this uh, problem. You ask about pulmonary embolism. You ask about thyroid, hyperthyroidism in particular. Ask about anemia, if the patient is having any heavy menstruation or patient is having upper or lower GI bleed. You have to ask about the pregnancy status of the patient. Then either ask about the family history and uh, past medical history, past surgical history, medication and allergies. And uh, ask about the social history as well, particularly address the issue of cocaine and ask about the eyes ideas, concern, and expectation, and show, and after that, you have to give the patient the, the, the conclusion of the diagnosis that you came up with. Then you state to the, exam, to the patient that you will examine him, and then we will conduct this investigation, give him opportunity to ask question, and uh, answer his question appropriately. Like this, we finish the station of the uh, palpitation. Thank you.